In this lesson, I want to show you how to add a divider. You know, a divider is used to separate items to put some space between them. So let's grab this divider here. Just leave the default settings. But in order for you to see what it looks like, we have to add something else. So I'm just going to grab something here. An accordion. And then add one more item. Now you can separate this so that you have different columns or you can stack them up, you know, one in, at the bottom, another one at the top. Let's get this animated numbers. Save. Okay, so let's save this and take a look at it. Okay, so when you take a look at these two right now, if you notice, they're very close to each other. The animated numbers in the accordion is very close. So what the divider does is it's going to put a space between them, but right now the divider is, is above it. So what we need to do is just to move this divider and put that in the middle. And we can take a look to see what it looks like. So now you have this divider here, that line that separates, you know, the two. And you can choose the different different styling for the divider. Do you want it to be you can put an image or you can put, you know, a line. Do you want it to repeat? Do you want it to be, you know, horizontal ver vertically? So that allows you and also you can choose the border style. So if you want it to be just dash and let's change the color and you can change the border width so if you want it to be a little bit thicker then you can put it a uh, different number there so let's save this and take a look so we change the the divider you notice now is the dashed lines instead of you know just a straight line so you can change that as well and you can add a little bit more space if you want to so right now it's showing that the margin at the top is 30 and the margin at the bottom is 30. Let's change that and put that to 50. So instead of dash, we have this dotted. And let's change the color. So now you notice there's the purple line and there's a lot more gap between the animated number and the accordion. So if you if you're going to have a lot of items on the page, then you want to make sure that you, you space them out. You don't want everything to be so close together by spacing them out. It, it makes, you know, everything looks very clean. But if you have everything so cluttered together, then it's hard for people to be able to find and, and, and you know, focus on something. So you have the option of using that divider to separate items. You can do it vertically or horizontally. You know, just use it the best way that you think is going to fit for the type of layout that you're looking for.